Hello everybody, it's Ali, and today in this video I'll go through another 3ds Max script regarding um, traffic, and it's called Traffic Trails, so it simply allows you to put in particles to set a path of a trail, so either a yellow light trail via, you know, from cars front lights and rear lights, so you have yellow for front and red for um, rear lights. So this gives another, this just gives another touch to your rendering in like a cityscape, adding that extra element um, to make it a bit more um, stylish and somewhat realistic. So yeah, we'll just get cracking quickly into it. Um, firstly, you would obviously um, Head over to head over and download the zip file from the YouTube video that I um, discovered it from. You grab them and copy them into your main 3ds Max folder. I already have it, so it replaces it for me. And then you are more than welcome to create your own little mini or a portion of your city, urban setting. Um, got like a basic intersection here, road is coming in um, to around the buildings. So how this works is with the script, again, you head over to customize user interface and from the Lucas 3D category, locate traffic trails and hold and drag that into your toolbar to make it a button. I won't do that because I've already done that here. And then after you've got that, click on traffic trails. You'll get a little one sec. You'll get a little user interface window here. And then you can click this to show instructions. So you just simply start off by, by um, dropping dummies using this place dummies button into the road to create your path and then make sure they appear again like it says here make sure they appear sometimes you have to press a few times for it to work um, as I'll just show in a bit and then when you're done with placing them press escape and then select the red or yellow trails just so it doesn't um, it doesn't work after you have them done that. So if you place your dummies and do not press escape and press either yellow or red, then it won't allow you to do it again. As I'll show in a bit as well how it works. So after you've done that, you can edit the trail. So you can add cutouts into the trail using the gradient ramp in the cutout slot. So this obviously makes it more realistic as you know you don't just see a trail that goes along the road in real life from a distance so just get into that so again place dummies zoom in if you like and this is how they appear so we're just going to add dummies as we go let's add them like this press escape and then select red trails so it creates as you can see, red trails like this. The cars are going upwards. And then same process, place dummies. So as you can hear, I'm clicking a few times, doesn't work. So make sure when you click them, they appear. And press escape. Just for the sake of showing you guys, I'm not going to press escape, and I'm just going to press the other trails. So it does still create it, all right. So when you try it again, oh, well, it worked this time, but it can not work. So you got to make sure if it doesn't work, just simply close it and then reopen it again, and it will work again. So it does it sometimes. So make sure with that. Um, see, oh yeah, see, there you go. That's what it does. When you don't press escape on the previous one it like runs along and like it gets mixed up and doesn't work so now that that doesn't work 
we're going to close this and delete our dummies that we have already and then we reopen it yeah it's just giving you instructions again drag it in here and then same process just do this quickly Say there um, and just select see it curves in. Don't worry, it's just, a, just, just an example, anyway. So, yeah, when you like don't have it in a continuous manner, it can like you know, it needs to be continuous so you can get a nice smooth line. So, we'll just So when you try to reverse back as well, when you try to go back to undo it, it gives you error messages, so you've got to make sure of that as well. Um, try to get a smooth line in the first go, which will make things much easier for you. So just do that again. Just showing all the errors so you guys know what's up when you're doing it. Um, place dummies. red and again alrighty scope and yellow trails nope don't need that yet just gotta move this alrighty so what we do now is see if the render thing has changed So, as I've done it before, this is with the cutouts. You've got, you know, you've got them all cut out so they appear as just three lanes going up and three lanes going down. You can see them as singular. They look like they're, they look like they're singular ob vehicles and objects. I mean, vehicles, not objects. Um, so, yeah, I'll just, show you, I'll just show you guys how to do that. Um, materials. So, yeah, this, is, this shows that it's got cutouts in them and to get that you have to go down and click on this gradient ramp button which where you can adjust your gradients and cut out to whatever you like so to the other one let's try again so yep so they can just as you can see they're longer and um yeah, so you can adjust them however you like, that's the thing of it, that's how it works, and yeah, that's pretty much it with this script, it's quite useful in, you know, giving that extra touch to your rend rendering in a cityscape if you want to add it, and um, I believe this will be useful for, um, for our project and future projects, so thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I, I, I hope it's useful for everybody. So thank you.